Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. You said that you would. Okay, hey y'all. Today, it right now, not today. It's right now, it's ten nineteen. So it's like a little late. But I'm gonna give y'all a hygiene routine and like how to stay smelling good, like everything like that. So I'm not gonna touch like the topics of hair care and skincare because people don't smell those parts of you. I hope someone isn't going up to you and smelling your face and saying your face smells good. So yeah, I'm gonna tell y'all like how to keep your body smelling good and how to keep your breath smelling good. So yeah. Okay, so I didn't get it out of the bathroom, but I used exfoliating gloves when I shower. I use exfoliating gloves and I use loofahs, but mainly exfoliating gloves because I feel like loofahs hold bacteria. Like, I used to use them all the time, but I don't use them that much anymore. I use my exfoliating gloves more, so I recommend you buy some because they don't hold as much bacteria as loofahs do. If you, like, so, yeah. But usually... When I first get in the shower, I put this all over my body, okay? This is the Dr. Bronner's unscented soap. I use the unscented one, not the peppermint one, because the unscented one, you can lather with anything. And, of course, it's Dr. Bronner's, so you have to dilute it like you have to. But I don't dilute it as much as you would have to with peppermint and, like, lavender and those strong scents. So, that's why I recommend, like, the unscented one because you can lather with anything you don't have to dilute it as much and i just feel cleaner so you can put this on any part of your body too but yeah, you can use this for anything i love dr bronner so if you like haven't had it before and you don't know what scent to get i recommend getting the unscented one because it's like it's it's good what and everyone needs an unscented soap okay now for the scented soaps that i use i use method body wash this one smells so good. This might be my favorite scent. Either this one or like the coconut gray one. That one smells really good. Deep. Like those are my favorite. But I either use Method, Native, or Bath and Body Works because duh. But they smell really, really good. And they're like, Method is really like nourishing to the body and keeps your body moisturized. So, yeah. I love the way they smell. It smells like a perfume. It smells like, it's like it really smells like a perfume. And it's the Magnolia one. They have different scents like so many different scents and like each different scent tells you what like it does with your body this one it makes your body feel hydrated and stuff like that so yeah i feel like method body wash is a little bit better than native in my opinion that's just my opinion though so don't come for me but yeah and then when i shave i use eos i love eos everything like eos is so good it stands for Evolution is Smooth. It keeps you smooth. But I love EOS. I use the vanilla one because I love vanilla stuff too. So yeah. It comes in like so many different scents. And this one is so like smooth on your body. And it just, it's just so good. Like I don't even know what to say. Like it's just really, really good. And really smooth. The smell is really good. Mm, like it gives you a queen, like a clean, queen, a clean swipe when you're shaving your legs, whatever yeah and you can use it on like when you're in the shower outside the shower it doesn't really matter it works both ways then for sugar scrubs i only use tree hut i feel like i might use like pink or victoria's secret sometimes but tree hut is the only way to go like it's so good the it, the like the formula i guess you could say it is like a little harsh kind of sort of like it's thicker than most sugar scrubs but it smells really good and it gets the job done and always like always exfoliate before shaving y'all if you don't know that always exfoliate before shaving it makes the job done easier but but this one smells really good and i just recommend y'all get tree hut i'm talking about i recommend y'all get tree hut so yeah yeah, I really don't know how to, I don't know how to do this video because, like, I don't know how to explain how things work and, like, how much I like stuff. So, it's kind of hard to get through this. So, I hope y'all, like, are understanding what I'm trying to say here. I hope y'all are understanding what I'm trying to say. And if you don't, I'm sorry. Okay, now for, should I do oral care or outside the shower? I'm going to do oral care. Okay, so, when flossing, these little floss things work really, really good. Um, they are double thingy majiggered. Like, they're not one little sheen, they're double. I guess that works better. I don't know. I think it does. But it's always good to floss. So, if you're looking for, like, a disposable good floss, just use this one. 
I think they have like different ones too. They have like pink ones, I think, green ones. This is the minty one, so yeah. Y'all really don't have to explain stuff. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. But this works wonders. And it makes like it makes your mouth smell so good. Like, all you really gotta do is just do one like if you're out eating and you like you feel like there's stuff in your teeth, get that. Like, it'll refresh your breath and get the stuff out your teeth. Like, that's just... What? That's perfect. Okay. For mouthwash, I use TheraBreath. I used to use the green one, but this one is 10 times better. It might burn just a little bit more, but it's 10 times better. Like, it... So, if y'all want a good one, I recommend using this dark blue one. Just, like, a darker blue one. Or use the pink one. Those are like the best smelling ones and they're more strong. And it does just burn like a little bit, but it's not as bad as like Listerine or Crest or anything like that. So yeah. These work really, really good. When brushing my teeth, I just use Colgate. I don't think my mom ever buys Crest. I mean, not that I know of. I feel like... I always see Colgate in my bathroom. So yeah, Colgate. Yeah. I mean. Just to brush your teeth. Oh, let me tell you. Okay, I'm going to get like, give y'all what I do in like, depth when it comes to my, like my, washing my, washing my teeth, brushing my teeth. I go in the bathroom, I brush my teeth with this, okay? It is, I don't think toothbrushes matter. Like, they all do the same thing. So yeah, brush my teeth with this, okay? After I do that. I use my tongue scrapers. I have two tongue scrapers. I have this one and I have this one. So I use this one first and then I use this one next. But scrape your tongue really good. Like get all the bacteria off. I know people just say just brush your tongue. But I feel like that's not enough. So I scrape my tongue. Then I go back and I brush my tongue with more toothpaste. And then go with mouthwash and the floss. It is so good. Okay, y'all both me smelling so good all day. So... Yeah, I also use tongue scrapers. You can get tongue scrapers from, like, really anywhere. Um, They don't have to be, like, luxury or nothing. They all do the same thing. They scrape the bacteria off of your tongue. Okay? And no one wants a white tongue. That's nasty. So, yeah. And then for deodorant, I use this Dove deodorant. This is the unscented one as well. I feel like unscented, like, body washes and lotions and stuff like this can be really good because like you can layer it with anything but yeah, i use the unscented dove one and i know people be like used aluminum free in nature de natural deodorant this and the third but your arm must be stinking you will be musty if you use like aluminum free like it just makes you sweat more so use aluminum that's what it's called yeah use aluminum it it, it's better than aluminum free if you use aluminum free i know for a fact you sweat more i know for a fact you do i just know you do okay then for lotions okay so when it comes to unscented ones i use the unscented eos one the fragrance free one and then when it comes to scented ones i use eos i also have the coconut one but this is vanilla i wear vanilla more so i always use this one more often but they both well i can't say this one smells because it, like it really does not have a smell but they both like are really smoothing and everything and this one smells really good it's like a sweet kind of scent but they both like nourish that word nourish or moisturize your skin like really well you will be smelling good all day if you use like a scented one you'll be smelling good all day like your skin will stay moisturized all day i recommend getting us if you don't know what lotion to get us they they're better than Bath body works in my opinion they're better okay then for like perfume wait i had a perfume out. i don't know where it went okay so for perfume this is what i do when it comes to perfume like when I'm going to school. So you want to get the, you want to get like an actual perfume, not no Bath and Body Works, like not no body mist. Get an actual perfume. Okay. This is the Billie Eilish one. It smells so good. It smells so good. One of my mom's friend got it for me for my birthday, like as a late birthday gift. And it smells so good. Like, 
it smells so good. So yeah, get this, but get an actual perfume, and then get you something you can layer it with. I don't usually lay it like I don't. I wouldn't put these two together. Wait, would I? Hold on, let's see. Wait, I would put these together. Okay, if you don't know what to put together, put these two together. But then get like a body mist, put them together. Okay, because when you put a body mist and an actual perfume together, like. I don't know. I feel like it just makes the scent stronger. It makes it smell better. That could just be me though. And then also get a roll-on. I don't, I wouldn't mix this with each other because they smell totally different. This is like more like sweet and floral, but it smells really good. So that's the type of perfume I use. Okay, let me tell you what I do. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your body mix. You're going to spray it all over your body. Okay. After you do that, you're gonna get your perfume and you're gonna put it in key spots, okay? Like neck, wrist, behind your ears, stuff like that, okay? And if you don't wanna do that, you're gonna get your body mist. If you don't wanna use like the actual perfume, you're gonna get your body mist, spray it on yourself, and then you're gonna get your roll on and put that in your wrist, your neck, and behind your ears. You'll smell so good all day. And you know, you can reapply it, you know? It smells so good all day. You get so many compliments. But yeah, y'all, that's really all I'm here to show y'all. Also, don't forget to drink water. Drink water, at, like, drinking water actually makes such a big impact in, like, hygiene, like, clearing your skin up, keeping your body healthy. Like, it makes such a big difference. But yeah, that's really how I stay clean. And yeah, like I said, I don't know how to explain this stuff. So, if I have to redo this video, I won't mind because I'm not the best at explaining everything that I try to explain and how the how it works but i hope this helped y'all a little bit somebody asked for this and i hope that helped y'all a little bit so yeah